first let me say this video isn't for the advanced gamer or people who keep up their systems uh, meticulously. This is more for people who are having problems with Flight Simulator. They bought into the hype and they got it, now it's having problems. So let's take a look how we can fix it. Now whether you, if you think Windows is updating you automatically or you do a pretty good job of uh, keeping track, anytime there's a new game out, you should check your drivers. And it's true in the case of Flight Simulator 2020. Now I have an older NVIDIA card, uh, but I still have the control panel and including the GeForce Experience module. Now you may or may not be a fan of that, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and launch it anyways uh, from here. So it goes out to the NVIDIA site. I'm already logged in. You may have to log in here and you'll see that there's a driver tab. So if you read here, you'll notice that it's a new one uh, for Flight Simulator. As a matter of fact, if you check the date, you'll see that it was released the day before Flight Simulator was launched to the general public. Now I clicked on download and after initial download, uh, you'll get to here where you can select a regular or a custom. Always choose a custom. While I might be a little bit faster, uh, it's going to go ahead and download that and then give you a prompt of what you want to do. Eventually you'll get to a panel like this and you see here that my driver needs to be updated, different version numbers. The other two don't, so it'll only update that driver. But down here there's a checkbox that says clean installation removes all the settings for your video card. Now if you tweak some stuff you may not want to do that but I do it every time but that's just me. So if you don't have GeForce Experience Load you can go right to their website at, at nvidia.com and just here go to the drivers page and choose which kind of drivers you have and go over here and you can download uh, that. Now the automatic does exactly what you might think but here's where you can select it yourself. All you need to do is know your model number and your operating system and you're good to go. In this particular case I'm running this on my older system specifically so I can help people uh, make it run well with their older hardware. Uh, so anyway just select which one you want and get ready to do all that and then you simply uh, click on download and then you go through the same install you did before. All you have to do is from the list uh, below after you put your parameters in you figure out which one you want uh, and here it is again August 17th the same one we saw through GeForce Experience. And if you click on Get Download, you'll go to a page actually that'll tell you the release notes about it. And sure enough, uh, it'll talk a little bit here about what it's for. And there's the part about Flight Simulator. Uh, so now that you're satisfied, you get ready and just go ahead and click Download and run the install. Now I don't have a Radeon system, but uh, just like anything else, you go to their website, you fill out the information down below, uh, click on that to find your particular card and do the download from there. So I'll just uh, pick out a random card here from those listed uh, just to show uh, how to do it and how to check the release notes. So if we, we uh, check a card here, let's click on this and after we uh, have the right series we choose the right card and just like in the video site we click submit it doesn't actually do it but if we expand the selection here Sure enough, it'll talk about which driver and it was released on August 17th, just like the other one. And uh, we can just go ahead and download it. But if you look over here and see the details, uh, let's click on that. And guess what? Sure enough, it's got an update for Flight Simulator. So always check your uh, video drivers first. So as with most games that uh, new releases that come out, there's usually a patch or two either before or slightly afterwards. Especially this time, Microsoft's been working closely so make sure you download uh, the new version of drivers. You probably have a lot less problems with your new copy of Flight Simulator 2020. Hey, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you want to get more, just subscribe to Old Guy Geek. You can also follow me at Facebook or Twitter. The links to those are in the description of this video.